Hello and welcome to this month's installment of Books for Billiken Babies. I'm your host, Dr. Jessica Leonard. I am in the School of Education Department at St. Louis University. This month we're going to be talking about books and colors. So one of my favorite books ever is this one. Mouse Paint. It's by Ellen Stoll Walsh. She has so many great stories, but this is one of my favorites. So go ahead and sit back. I hope you found a very comfy spot to sit in. I have a very comfy spot and we're going to read Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. I borrowed this book from our library so you can go to the library and find this book too. Well, here are the cute little mice. Here they come on the page. She says, this one's for my mom. She wrote this book for her mom. Once there were three white mice on a white piece of paper and the cat couldn't find them. You see the little mice, there they are. The cat's looking for them. One day while the cat was asleep, the mice saw three jars of paint. One was red, one was yellow, and one was Blue! You're right if you guessed blue. They thought it was mouse paint and they climbed right in. <gasps> then one was red, one was yellow, and one was blue. Did you say blue? Good job. They dripped puddles of paint onto the paper and the puddles look like fun. They do look like fun. The red mouse stepped into the yellow puddle and did a little dance. His red feet stirred the yellow puddle until, what happens? Look, he cried, red feet in a yellow puddle make orange. <gasps> Look at that. I wonder what happens next. The yellow mouse hopped into the blue puddle. His feet mixed and stirred and stirred and mixed until, do you know? Look down, said the red mouse and the blue mouse. Yellow feet and the blue puddle make green. That's my favorite color. What's your favorite color? Then the blue mouse jumped into the red puddle and he splashed and he mixed and he danced until, Purple, they all shouted. Blue feet in a red puddle make purple. But the paint on their fur got sticky and stiff. So they washed themselves down to a nice soft white. Look where they're taking a bath in the cat's bowl. And they painted the paper instead. They painted one part red, they painted one part yellow, and one part blue. But then you know what they did? They mixed the colors. They mixed the red and the yellow paint and they painted orange. Then they got an idea and said, how about yellow and blue to paint a green part? And the blue and the red paint to paint a purple part. Look at those great colors, and they used all the colors up. But you know what? Those mice are pretty smart because they left some of the white because of the cat. Do you remember in the beginning how the cat couldn't find them? So then they got to be sneaky. This is one of my favorites. Now I'm going to introduce you to another one. It's called Monsters Love Colors. It's similar to this one. But let's see if you can see if you have new colors introduced. This is written and illustrated by Mike Austin. So here are the monsters. They look like they're having a good time. Monsters love colors. Monsters love to scribble, scribble, mix, dance, and wiggle. Did we get to do that in the other book? We got to dance. You can dance now. Mix, smash, and splash. Squish. Squish, squash, mish, mash, mish, and squash. Mash, mish, squish, squash. Those are fun words to say. Can you say those? I like those words. Mish, squish. Monsters love new colors. Look at how he says, favorite, 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 favorite. That's so funny. The blue is holding up the blue. 
The yellow is holding up the yellow, and the red is holding up the red. My favorite color is red! Red is the color of roar! And snore! <laughs> Can you make that noise? And more, more, more! That's what red says. My favorite color is yellow! Yellow is the color of prowl and howl! And growl, growl, growl! That's what yellow says. And look, howl! Can you howl? Oh, that's a good howl. <gasps> My favorite color is blue. Blue is the color of scribble and dribble and nibble, nibble, nibble. And he says, hey, don't eat the crayons, you silly monster. Yeah, don't eat your crayons. Ooh, they don't taste very good. What new flavors? What new flavors? What new, what new favorite colors can we make for you? And this guy yells, orange. Do you remember in our other book how we made orange? Let's see if they do the same thing. <gasps> scribble, scribble, mix, dance, wiggle. Mixing red and yellow makes orange. <gasps> they did it. Look at that orange guy. He's adorable. And what new favorite colors can we make for you? He yells green. And this little guy yells green too. Do you remember I said green's my favorite color? Dribble, scribble, mix, dance, wiggle. Mixing yellow and blue makes, you're right, green. And look how happy he is. And what new favorite colors can we make for you, they ask. And he shouts, purple. But this guy said, hey, buddy. I was supposed to say purple. Oh, scribble, scribble, mix, dance, wiggle. Mixing red and blue makes purple. And there's our purple guy, so happy. And what new favorite colors can we make for you? Look at this, it says red, yellow, blue, orange, green, purple. Hmm, he's thinking. I know. What colors are we missing? He yells, Super Tropical Mega Monster Rainbow Swirl with a raspberry on top. Do you think they can do it? <gasps> scribble, scribble, drip, splash, dribble. Mix, smash, squish, squash, dance, and wiggle. Is it happening? <gasps> Red, yellow, blue, Orange, green, purple, and a rainbow. Monsters love colors. I love this story. It's got everybody and everyone's so happy. And at the end, they're still doing their dance and scribbles. Even this little guy, he writes, the end. Oh, that was a really good one. All right, my last story today is called Mix. And it's called Mixed, a colorful story by Ari Chung. So here is mixed. Look at all these colors again. We talked about these colors already, right? We've had blue, we've talked about red, we talked about yellow. I wonder what happens in this story. This is mixed, a colorful story. Oh, look at red, look at yellow, and look at blue. We get to find out how their personalities are. In the beginning, there were three colors reds, yellows, and blues. There they are. Reds were the loudest. They say la 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 la. Can you say that? Oh, that's very loud. Good job though. Yellows were the brightest. Does he remind you of the sun? He reminds me of the sun. And blues were the coolest. Look how cool he looks. He's got his sunglasses on, his hat, and he's got a pretty cool looking scarf. This is where they lived. Look at this. Everyone lived in color harmony until color harmony. That means they all lived next door to one another. They went to the shops together. They lived together. But something's happening with red, if you notice red right here. He has a very sad face. Hmm. One afternoon, when Red said, Reds are the best! And then they all have Red. Reds are the best. Number one. Look at everybody. They're thinking, 
what's going on? Oh, yellows disagreed. No, we're the best because we're the brightest. The blues were too cool to even respond. The colors divided to live in separate parts of the city. So only this is Redville, this is Blue Town, and this is Yellow Heights. They even put up gates so they couldn't see their friends anymore. And they built this oh, huge tower. They don't want them to come in. This makes me sad. I couldn't see my friends. I would be really sad. But then one day, a yellow noticed a blue. And then something happened. They were talking. He says, I feel so happy when I'm near you. And I feel calm when I'm with you. This makes me happy. It's making you happy. Yellow and blue became inseparable. That means they have to be together all the time. I love that word. Life felt so vibrant. There's a good word too. Vibrant, full of life, bright. But not all the colors were happy about it. The reds complained. This is what they said. Colors shouldn't mix. <gasps> Disagreed. I don't like yellow's effect on blue. That blue isn't bright enough for our yellows. Oh, I don't like this talk. But guess what? But yellow and blue loved each other so much that they mixed. Look, they got married. <gasps> And notice the blue and the yellow, and there's even a red guy. Together they created a new color. Guess what color? Because we know from our other book, right? Yellow and blue make green. And they called her green. Green was bright like yellow and calm like blue. But really she was her own color. Everyone was fascinated. She's so cute, Red said. Yellow said, I've never seen anything like her before. Even the grumpy colors fell in love with green. Even Red says, can I hold her? The colors began to see new possibilities and soon others' colors mixed. Remember our colors when they mixed? When the reds and the yellow mixed and they got orange? Do you remember when the purple and the red, they got purple? And then everyone started mixing and mixing and look at all these great colors. Remember that word I used, vibrant? Look how vibrant everyone is. There were so many new colors and lots of new names. This mama says, be careful, Jade. This papa says, don't forget your glasses, Lavender. And this one says, have fun, Amber. <gasps> Listen to their new names, their new colors, new name colors. And guess what? They tore down all their towers and their bridges. And then they tore down their signs that used to say only Redville. And look, they're getting rid of the blue and yellow heights. The old neighborhood of Redville, Blue Town, and Yellow Heights didn't make sense anymore. Everyone wanted to live together. So they rebuilt the city. Ha ha ha, look how great. Everyone's happy, they're getting along. The new city was full of color. It wasn't perfect, but it was home. Look, they have an ice cream shop called Dots and another shop called Sabringles. Those sound yummy. And now at the end of the book, instead of just seeing our three main colors, look at all of these beautiful colors. Remember that word, vibrant colors. Well, thanks so much for joining me. I am really hoping next month we have some special visitors to read books to you. I'll be there. I hope you're there. And I hope you have a great rest of the time. And remember, be nice to everyone. <laughs>